In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to link cells within Apple Numbers. So here we have two basic tables within a sheet on Apple Numbers. And as this is just for demonstration, we're going to keep it very simple to show you how to link cells. So let's say at the table at the top, you want to pull the bonus from the table below. You could simply copy and paste it. However, with a bigger data set, this will be much more difficult to do. So what you want to do in this bonus cell, you want to press equals on your keyboard. This will bring up the function box, and then you want to come to the next data sheet or anywhere within the sheet and select where you want the cell to be linked from. So we'll come to this second table and we'll select stands bonus. Then you can either press enter or this green little tick. And now, as you can see, stands bonus has been pulled from the second table. You don't have to do that for each individual member. You can press within the cell and on this little yellow tab, you can click it and hold and drag it down into the cell. And this will also populate. So when you go through these team members, as you can see, the data is pulled from the table below. That's a basic way how to link cells within a table. So let's say you want to bring January sales into the sheet. However, these details are on the demo sheet here at the top. So what we want to do is press the equals key. Then we want to come over to the demo sheet. Then we'll select stands January sales. Then you can press enter or the little green tick. And again, you don't need to do this for every team member. You can highlight stand sales and click the little yellow tab and drag it into the spreadsheet. This will auto populate the spreadsheet for you. You can make sure it's right by double clicking the cell. And as you can see, this is Mary's sales. This is a very basic method of pulling data from one sheet or one table to another and from one sheet to another. However, this will not work if your tables are not all in order like this, as when you drag it down, it will start pulling data from other members that are not in order. So the data will be incorrect. And if this is the case for you, then you want to try VLOOKUP. Not as scary as it sounds, and I have a full video demonstration how to set up VLOOKUP on Apple Numbers. So if your spreadsheet is a bit more jumbled, VLOOKUP is what you'll need. So check out that video here. I hope you found that video helpful, and thanks for watching.